Hello everyone and welcome back to Hogwarts Mystery. In this one, I am hoping that we can finish off our last class, which is a potion class. As you can see, in the last one we learned Filipendo, as well as we went and talked to Ben about his fright of flying, who is qu that's quite understandable if you consider him being Muggle-born and the whole thought of just flying on a broom is surreal. And I can't remember from when when you're told from when you're told you're a <laughs> visit Harry <laughs> to the part where you actually go and say, "Okay, I'm going to Hogwarts." I think it's a couple of months, maybe. So he has to adjust his whole lifestyle to the fact that magic exists and you can probably die from it so i can understand where he's coming from and we are actually going as you can see here afraid to fly that ben has something to tell you and all this so we will also continue on with that but first off i actually think we will go and no uh, go having our potion class because we have energy enough to do so and the herbicide potion Oh, what, what was it that did again? It probably gave us gems. That's probably the only result of that. Maybe. Can't remember at this point. However, let's go and have the class. So nice. And I'm sorry if I come off a little tired. I had quite a week last week, so I'm still a little worn out from the whole family stuff I had to... Uh, work out let's just put it like that there was just some family stuff we had to work out and it was just tedious and it took some time and it was immensely tiring anyway snape is sne snape is sneering at me more than usual do you think he knows something i uh, don't think so i can't even keep track of how many house punch you have lost hufflepuff no wonder anyone hates you I don't think they do, though. Aren't you worried that Marula is getting revenge after your duel? I would be. No, because if you think about it, we won in a duel against her. That means we potentially are stronger in magic than her. So even if she plays tricks on us, we still have the upper hand. And it's kind of a weird thing when it comes to quote-unquote bullying because in essence bullying are in end just a desperation in my in my opinion is a desperation of trying to be better than anyone else because you feel that you aren't better than anyone else and you have to feel that you need to be better than anyone else just to feel good about yourself and that, that's not a healthy way to think I don't think and, of course, if it's a whole group, it's group pressure. There's a lot of psychology that goes into that whole matter. And I say that as a bully victim myself, so... <laughs> that's that's a thing. Uh, but we won't make it about Snide this time. This time it's about making potions and helping Ben. Because apparently he has something to tell us. So let's go and see here. I just want to apologize again for dueling on school grounds, Professor Snape. <laughs> the only thing I care less about than you is your apology, Bright. Sit down. He's three mean spirited, but on the other hand, again, as far as I know in the books, um, basically, he, he, he as far as I've been told in the books, I should actually read them now. Uh, he, he's not that likable. Is actually. Alan Rickman that actually made the character very likable in the movies. Oh, she actually have a question for us now. Have you told... <laughs> have you told anybody about what Snape of uh, Filch said in the corridor? Well... Yeah, duh. Do you think I'm gonna keep secrets from you? <laughs> Sorry, but if she thinks that she's on our good graces right now, no. She's not even considered our friend at this point, but I might have been spoiled a little on tr Twitter. 
Because I've seen her drinking butter beer with us, but I don't know why. But that might be a little nudge nudge to who she might become our friend, I don't know. Anyway, we did tell Rovan. And I did say in earlier episode that I will go the honest route. Because we are honesty itself, <laughs> not, but you guys know what I mean. And it will probably take her aback that she's like, oh, she's not the only one that knows about it. Oh no, she's probably panicking by this point. <laughs> We're playing mind games on her because she played mind games on everyone else. <laughs> yes, I told Rovan. Oh. You're such an Italy <laughs> idiot. Thankfully, your little friend is useless and won't ruin my chances of getting inside that room. Well, if you said no to her, she was like she would just have scolded you for being a bad liar, so there wouldn't have been a different uh, outcome to it, really. She would just... It, it kind of like, it's not a butterfly effect story in this one. They always go out to the same outcome, no matter what way you, cho you choose to go. But it seems to have minor consequences on your entropy points or your or your house points and that's what seems to change in these ones depending on your um, on your answers and I think that that's about it because it's not a butterfly effect the whole story won't change depending on your answers which is kind of nice because then we don't have to worry about what would have happened if we did that or that or that you know this is not until dawn and even Until Dawn didn't have that many different butterfly effects. But that's another thing. And that's a horror game. And then we're not play that. <laughs> you know, it's immensely fascinating storytell. Like, lore-wise, it was very fascinating. <sighs> I started rambling. I'm sorry. That happens every time I'm tired. Why are you after the cursed vaults? Ugh. None of your business. Oh, we should have lied to her because... Apparently, we were honest with her, but she didn't want to be honest with us. But again, she is actually a pretty girl. I still kind of feel bad for her because she probably grew up without parents. And we don't know who took care of her instead. And... <sighs> like, she, I don't know, she's one of those, you know, sympathetic characters, like... She's mean, she's a bully, but she turns around at some point in the game and becomes a, probably our best friend other than Roman. You, you, we, we don't know yet, or at least I don't know yet. Um, but, yeah, because I can understand her background, that she might be frustrated and she feels she needs to do better because her parents didn't or chose another path that left her. I can I can sympathize with that. But for her to be a mean little girl, I can't <laughs> sympathize with. But there's, a, there's many layers to a person's personality, so that's what I feel interesting about. Because as we can see, as she just talks, uh, look at us here, she doesn't seem like mean-spirited. She's not glaring at us, she's just talking. Um, she's just talking. She actually also has really pretty eyes. Even though that once... The outer layer or one's appearance should not be judged upon by the book. And as I also said, I kind of sympathize with her with her backstory. Um, but I'm actually more intrigued in in her story than our own, if, if you guys can kind of feel what I mean. I don't know. Even though she is a mean kid. It is my business because my brother was searching for the Chris bolts. <laughs> And he failed because you come from a family of failures. Uh, really? <laughs> I don't know anything about our parents in this game yet, so... Now shut up and pretend to study before Snape hears talking about the vaults. <laughs> this is actually quite interesting because even though... There is... If you read between the lines, it doesn't... Either she is worried that she will be caught talking about the vaults, or she also has a slight, a little, just because she's a slither she has a little slither of worry about us. Maybe. Because it doesn't seem she's gotten any, like, 
push back on her actions or her behavior for before in her life and now there's actually one who's completely honest with her <sighs> I go too much into psychology I've been reading up for an assignment lately which has a great deal of psychology to it so now my head is just spinning with that kind of psychology <sighs> It's kind of like when you read something and you only think about that, it's also the same if you hear a song and it gets stuck in your head. It's kind of the thing. It's kind of that thing. And I'm sorry. <laughs> it just happens. So, oh, we get five gems. Uh, so it was right. I was talking about five gems and then it was right. Um, I apologize for that ramble. <laughs> Today you will learn about... Or should... I can't really do a Snape voice, even if I wanted to. Like, Mr. Potter, today we will learn to brew an herbicide potion. He's, he's very monotone, and I know I'm very monotone just as I normally am. So trying to get down to his level, I, I my throat starts to crack. <laughs> a little, or my voice starts to crack a little bit, so I prefer not to do it. Now the lesson starts. Today we'll be we will create herbicide potions, which you just say, sweetheart. You, I, don't, I thought you were a person who didn't like to repeat yourself, but that's okay. Do not let one dry drop find its way to the greenhouses. Watch closely. Oh no, because then Professor Sprout would be angry with us for indefinite. That's for sure. Okay, let's see. What do we have of highest? Oh, we can do this one. Again, I do f I go for the highest level energy because it seems for those to go the farthest, the furthest, farthest. Hmm. And uh, we have one. Yes, fantastic. Was that enough? No. I'm still testing out how much energy we actually do need to complete classes completely. Because it does seem that it, you need either seven or eight or nine. And it can be very eh, higgly piggly guessing, I guess. Um, let's just take some empathy here. <laughs> One mistake brewing herbicide potion could lead to lasting consequences. So stay focused, young lady. I like he's always watching us. Which is also concerning in many ways. Because one thing is that Silver Snape's true intentions only gets to the only is put forth in the very last part of the Harry Potter series. So with him just keeping an eye on us means that he maybe cares about us. Who knows? Um, because he's potentially always extra annoyed or extra <laughs> extra watchful of people he cares about but in demeaning ways so since he's always keeping an eye on us we don't know we don't know there's so many questions because i haven't played the game completely through so i don't have all the answers and we are slowly getting to the point where i don't know what's gonna happen which is going to make uh, like, it will become even more fascinating <laughs> to continue with because then you'll go like oh what should we answer on this one huh that's gonna be hard <laughs> you never know anyway for today's lesson you will need to cross lionfish spines with a mortar and pestle get to work i love there was cooking like cooking equipment used <laughs> the phrases used because those words are more or less new so, water and pestle. I actually use that a lot when I cook. Especially Indian food. I love Indian. Um, I love curries, actually. Uh, ooh. We probably need either two or three. Do we have a three? So we take a three. That should be... Uh, it wasn't so... Huh. So we did uh, one and a We would take the energy. <laughs> Happily take the energy because then we could probably get a star more. Uh, before we ha we go on to hear what Bennett has to say. So yes. Everything is ready. Now cross these lionfish spines. Yes we will. 
with doing Wee! I like we have to do like a, a like a sphere emotion to crush a fish. I could just imagine it go like ha and then throw it into the mortar and then <laughs> something like that, I don't know. Oh, I wish I was better at drawing comics. That could have been fun. Like making some comics out of the episodes I play. <laughs> oh well. Add your ingredients like seed seeds in the soil. Uh, but do not touch the soil. Is it? Well, that's not really soil. That looks like cauldrons. That could have been a fun if it, they had a little platter of soil instead. And they were like, yeah, don't touch it. Okay, no mind. I'm overthinking stuff again. <laughs> that's kind of um, common. I overthink every... Oh. It seems that it goes further with the highest amount of, po of energy points you use. And if you use a less energy point, it seems you have to click on more actions to do so. So maybe we only need like six. Or seven to complete this action. I'll actually test it out and say, okay, we'll go with seven. Eight. Okay, seemingly eight. Uh, we'll take knowledge this time. I need to add the ingredients to my herbicide potion. Okay. And they are very bright green, I must say. And oops! Sorry! Did I crack anything? I accidentally tapped the screen. That was not what I intended to do. Did we blow it up? Oh, sorry, Snape. He's always disappointed in us. <laughs> well, why are we trying to please him anyway? He's being mean. Ah. I'd rather be happy to please either Flitwick or Sprout or McGonagall than Snape because I... But on the other hand, he's the hardest to achieve approval of, so that's a thing. Hmm. We need to play strategy here. <laughs> Even a task so simple as stirring a cauldron requires perfect technique. You, I will sir, observe your techniques. Yes, you will may, or rather you may, but we don't have enough energy to complete that one. So, we'll go talk to Ben and hear what he has to say. Yes, let's go there. So, my little friend, what do you need? What do you need? I would like to say... I would like to say Ben looks more confident. But, yeah. Oh, that's mean, Roman. Just be a little more happy on his behalf. Oh, let's see. What does he have to say? I heard you've been hel helping Ben Cooper with his flying. Oh, I can see he has a little troubles also, so... Do you have any tips for me? Yeah, uh, don't say off up too fast because it would smack you in the face. Like that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh well, let's go talk to Ben. Are you ready to conquer your fear of flying, Ben? Huh? Almost certainly not. I learned Vingardium Leviosa in charms class, and I think it would be able. Uh, it would be the perfect thing. Uh, to you to get comfortable with the idea of flying. I, I think you underestimated my cowardice. Oh, really? Ben, come on, you can do it. You just need to take things one step at a time, Ben. The first step is flying. Uh, to f uh, the first step to flying is floating. If the Guardian also works as planned, you should levitate a few feet off the ground. <laughs> and if that doesn't work as planned, and what if it doesn't work as planned? You find the falling... Uh, what? You will find the falling is not to be afraid of. What? <laughs> okay. 
character is being like, oh, if it doesn't work, you're just gonna fall. <laughs> okay. Wingardium Levio. Oh, oops. No, sorry. Wingardium. I went too high there with my Wingardium levels. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, I'm failing a little of my controls today. Wingardium Levosa. And here we go. There we go. Oh, don't turn him violent. He might puke. Like, just imagine the whole quick turnaround. Like, in a roller coaster, I'm bad at roller coasters, like the cops and so. At least you only get it once, but still, it's bad. <laughs> you did it, Pen. You're one step closer of overcoming your fear of flying. How would we know that? Dear. And even closer to realizing my seer. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about that with throwing up. Okay. Realizing my fear of getting sick in public. Uh, you will have to excuse me, Ray. You kind of made him swirl around. So that was not nice of you, Ray. <laughs> are you uh, are you rushing to the training grounds because you are so excited of, uh, for fine class? I don't want to know. You don't want to know what I'm about to do. Oh, <laughs> I feel so bad for Ben. I'm so sorry, Ben. <laughs> oh, that's bad. It's so sad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh well. So we are still not quite done with this side quest, but hopefully we will be able to make him fly at some point, or at least ha make him have the confidence of flying. But we could also go have a game of gobstones. We could also go have a meal with uh, with with our friends. And there's a lot of things that we now can do just randomly chilling while we wait for energy. So we will go play a game of gobstones. Um, but I'm um, a little curious to who we should play against. Because we are at the same level with both the characters, and I think one of them we will play a cupstones with, and the other one we will go have a din din with or a lunch with. So maybe we'll play cupstones with friends since he was already here, or should we wait with having cupstone play cupstones against him because he's doing something we don't want to know what he's gonna do, and just give him a breather before we do so? Yeah, I think I think that would probably be good. So we will just be playing against Rowan, and then we will have some lunch with Ben. That sounds like a good idea. I have all I have dreamt of of attending Hogwarts my entire life, but now I'm really feeling homesick, Ray. We need to. Oh yeah, that's right. We need to make Rowan feel at home. Uh. And this was the one, uh, Rowan had that before, that she had to get distracted. But now we have to make her feel at home, so what, know what I miss the most? It's probably the family, because she didn't really go out and work with the trees, so she's probably worried about her family, or one of them, she's missing her family, probably. So let's see here. Oh, that's gonna be a very quick game of Cupstones. Thanks, Ray. I never thought I would want to be, be anywhere else, but I really miss home. I don't understand, Rowan. Talking about that will make you feel better. So it's a little bonding session. I miss my family so much. Uh, my brother is missing? <laughs> yeah, you miss your family, but my brother has been missing for years! Write them a letter. Uh, look at their photos. Oh, he's probably looking at their photos and then remembering them. Is it that one? No, he's writing them a letter. Oh, close enough though. Was well, at least not immensely wrong. I feel a lot better, but I'm not sure Hogwarts will ever feel like home. He might not. He might not. <laughs> not ever feel like home, but I think you will see that. Why it's the next best thing. Yes. What do you do when you... Uh, how do I stop feeling homesick? Read more books, brew more potions, make more friends. Uh, 
I would say make more friends. Oh. Yeah, because she likes to read books, but I would have thought that socializing with more friends would make her feel more at home because there was a lot more people. But I guess we have to play to her knowledge and not not like socializing. That's right, because Roman isn't this typical socializing person. Okay. I get ya, I get ya. Thanks, Ray. I still miss home, but I'm happy to be here at Hogwarts with you. I'm glad too. So let's see. We got a little further with the friend level, which is nice. And then we will go have a quick snack with um, with Ben. And hopefully he's feeling better after running to, I suppose, the, the bathroom and taking care of the matters that was his quid, his um, unpleasant so <laughs> fear of public of being sick in public. So yes, indeed, we will be, we will have a little lunchy lunch with him. I've listened, listed all my fears in order of absolutely nightmarish to mildly worrisome. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. If you can guess the order, Ray. Okay. Alright, there was a short interruption by the postman. I thought I heard something, and I definitely did. Anyway, which student do I fear the most? That would be Marula. That one is was, was pretty much self-given. I am pretty sure. So, yeah, there. <laughs> you know me and my fears pretty well, Ray. But let's see if you can guess the rest. Okay, I'll do my best. It's kind of a weird... It's kind of a weird card or decision game in trying to guess what I fear the most. Which potion do I fear the most? Fire breathing potion? That one I can't pronounce other than we... Is it pronounced Widosoros? Or poly... Uh, poly juice was something you could drink, right? So maybe it's the fire breathing one. No, it wasn't. Okay. So which one does that one do? The one I couldn't pronounce. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What's the last one? <laughs> oh no. Something I definitely don't know. Uh, which spell do I fear the most? Or Sirius? Oh, the killing spell. I was like, what was Anna? It's probably the killing spell, right? Yes. Which I cannot pronounce either, so I'm just gonna go with that. I was about to say alakadabra, but that's not what it says. <laughs> I'm impressed, Ray. No one understands my constant terror as well as you. Well, yeah. You talk about how much you fear things a lot, so you start to s just listen a lot to things like that. Anywho, we can also go out and collect some extra energy points from the different places here at Hoppets. There we are. Go to the grounds, say how hey to the puppy. The adorable little puppy. And the dungeons where there was a little half elf snoozing around. There we go. Hello, little feller. And of course, where we just were. <laughs> and Fnor. That's one there. And there's not more there either. And then there's two on top. Yes. <laughs> it's very giving with how many points you or energy points you can just get by looking around. That's quite intriguing actually. Um, let's go back to potion class and see if we can finish off the class. I'm not sure if we can. Maybe we can. I don't know. Perhaps. But we will be done with the potion by the day is over. See, we have a four there. Oh, we might as well take the four then because I accidentally click on it. 
it is a little um I would say it is a little um, sensitive to touch, so you can't normally always um, depend on um, being sure that you got all the ones right. See, this time I need uh, this time I needed nine, right? Yeah. So we have five extra. And we have five points. We probably need around... Uh, probably around... Five... Five more or so. Oh man, it's really sensitive today, my screen. I must say. We, we're doing badly in this potion, that's for sure. <laughs> it's probably gonna affect our outcome, I don't know. I, I don't know. Sensitive screens are a bad thing, I must say. <laughs> oh well, let's see. Finish your potions quickly. I will not tolerate laziness. No. Because apparently our ability currently to do these things are quite the saddening. Unfortunately. So, yeah. Hmm. We still need more energy though to do this. Um, do we have a fiver? No, we have a three. Then we have a three. <laughs> so, well, that should be enough to do it. So let's see here. There we are. Do we have a fiver? Yes, we do. So that should definitely be enough. Shouldn't it? Ah, close enough. So we have a two here and we had, we're good. We're golden. No, we weren't. <laughs> I thought we were. Aww. That's just how it is, I guess. Uh, we need a three. How, ma how much do we have? Oh. <laughs> That's not good enough, is it? No. Uh, I was pretty sure 11 was more than enough. But apparently it wasn't. Free extra energy. Here we go. <laughs> I'm pretty off with my calculations with energy today. As well as apparently my screen is very sensitive as well. So I've been... Very unfortunate with the, the screen touching, but at least we got a diamond out of it. Or gem, sorry. My herbicide poison. Uh, p poison? Okay, first my sensitive screen, then energy calculation wrongly, and now I can't read. That's a good combination right there. Anyway, my herbicide potion is going to be the best. I just have to finish it, not with the two misconceptions or uh, issues we had beforehand with not doing it right. Or rather, it needed improvements. Hmm, yes, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be decent. And I can live with decent. <laughs> I can live with a D. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. However, we did finish the herbicide potion and we got five after extra gems, which is nice. You should steer it two more times. Excuse me? Oh, um, <laughs> it was us who was saying that to Marula, but they would actually say if we help her, it, she might come to our side, we never know, so let's just help her, I know. Actually, the empathy color is the same as her eyes, that's actually interesting Notice to notice. Anyway, let's help her. Professor Snape said to stir the potion seven times clockwise, you only stirred it five times. You don't know anything you're, what you're talking about. Shockingly. In this solitary instance, Bright is right. <laughs> Even a reckless, incompetent fool like you can uh, can become a meddling witch by following instructions, Bright. Ten points! <gasps> he gave us points! <laughs> Does that mean he likes us now? Oh well. Or at least he approves of us. <laughs> <laughs> at least that the counter at least some of the what is it 60 or 70 points right now <laughs> he's taken from us <laughs> that's genius 
Thank you, Professor Snape. Dismissed. You make so, the hardest task look easy. Oh! We, are, we can now go and do things with Penny as well, as we can see, I, I guess. That's cool. Um, preparing for the room. With your prefect pre appeased, you return to your attention to the locked door. Why does Snape want it kept secret? And what does it have to do with you? Now, I don't think it actually had anything to do with us, but the bright situation was probably more directed towards our brother. Pretty much, I think. But I actually think we'll be ending off here. Huh? Hello? Oh! Hello, little fella! I haven't seen you here before! <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I thought I heard something and I did, okay. Um, I think I'll be ending off here and until next time guys, take care and have a fantastic day.